Hi there, Oliver Olson here of Speedy Web Videos, and I'm going to give you a quick little video on using PowerPoint to create those flying cool graphics that you see in uh, uh, videos on the web. So uh, here we are in Microsoft PowerPoint, and um, you know you've built your slides here, and you've got your graphics here, and uh, so what we want to do, I'll show you this one, and that comes in, and then that flies in, and then it's got a little kind of growing uh, effect to it at the end. So the first one just flies in, and then it grows. See that? Okay, so the way that we do that is what we call adding animations. So you have actually just one animation on this, which is the fly in animation coming from the left and then you've got your duration of how fast you want that to come in and then after that this is our what we call our animation pane so that's that first picture right there when I put the uh, highlight on it it shows me I'm selecting this one so that flies in and then we've got the second animation here which is called group 5 for some reason I'm not sure why but uh, anyways that's this um, uh, smartphone here that comes flying in uh, it has a different effect to it. It's um, when you go to add animation, you've got all these choices of effects here and then uh, down here as well. I'll just have to bring this down to show you. Um, let's see, animation, add animation. So hopefully you can see that down here you've got more entrance and exit effects. So once you click on that, you bring up a window and then it gives you the, the whole bunch of other effects that you can do. So this kind of swirling in kind of uh, uh, effect of this, I'll show you it again, of the smartphone coming in. See how it swirls in is just one of those effects and then you want a growing effect added to that and so you choose the first one which is that kind of swirl in look to it and then you click on add animation and then this window comes up you add the animation which is this one this grow shrink and I'll show you actually we'll just undo that but I'll just show you what window comes up and this one will come up and it just gives you the options of what you want. How much do you want it to grow? We grew it by 10%. So um, you just choose that here. You click this drop down, choose the percentage that you want. Uh, and then there's these smooth start, smooth end. And uh, just play around with that. You'll see how it kind of comes in fast or s slows down at the end. Uh, that's, that's what that does. And then you've got your timing options here, which are just a little deeper. It's the same kind of stuff that you have here, but uh, you know, you've got some more options uh, that you can do and whether you want the animation to repeat. Uh, again, just play around with these. You'll start to see some of the options that you have. So um, all right. Here's another one, which is just all the fly-in um, kind of animations. So I'm just sort of showing this program here, all the things that you get, it's videos and documents, downloads, audio. And uh, so the same kind of thing. So all of these are using simple fly-in uh, animation effect. When you click here, you can see all the different ones you can have. And again, if you want more options, then you click on add animation and uh, in your durations here and um, you can see the kind of graphic effect here of what we're doing um, this will help you when you get into much more involved animations uh, like this one um, it gets kind of crazy uh, let's just make this a little bit bigger so you can see uh, and what we have here um, is money going down the drain And I know it looks a bit chunky on your screen, and that's because uh, some technical resolution issues while I'm making the video here. But um, 
see now we have this kind of long uh, <laughs> Uh, graphic representation of the animations actually you can see that it's actually just repeated for each one and um, so we have a, uh, uh, a kind of a swirling a, a spiral in of uh, each piece of money um, each piece of money kind of turning as it spirals in and each piece of money getting smaller as it spirals in and then each piece of money fading out and it fades out once it gets to the bottom of the drain so each one is treated differently but there are different size of swirl and different placement of the swirl and so it looks each one looks unique but they're more or less actually the same now the next thing is to say okay well how do I get this into a video and if you're using Camtasia or ScreenFlow or um, even Cam Studio, there's um, you know different ways of shooting the screen. And the way that we do it though is that we want to shoot this um, in a window. We don't want to use the whole screen uh, to shoot something. Um, so when you go up, set up your slideshow, click on slideshow here, um, and uh, click on setup slideshow and uh, you check click on uh, browse by an individual in a window so that that allows me to uh, show the PowerPoint just in a window as opposed to on the whole screen which is what you might do during a live presentation in front of an audience here we just want it in a window and I'll show you what that looks like and that is this right here uh, what we have actually is our screen capture window um, set to be just inside our PowerPoint slide and so if I just move this around you'll see okay there's the edge of my window I've got this in a window right now and I just set it on right the edge of my screen capture uh, window and then I'm ready to go um, start my screen capture recording and then just click through my slide presentation um, you might be just talking and narrating as your slides go by or you might have a previously recorded script that you are playing and you are you have cues in that script and you advance your slide every time you get to the next cue and that makes a very nice tight presentation uh, I show you how to do this in in speedy web videos step by step uh, but now let's go and see how this looks in the editing software alright so now we're in Adobe Premiere which is what I use for editing and you could be using Camtasia or iMovie or whatever it is you want to edit your videos with it doesn't matter um, so I just wanted to show you what this looks like uh, I would bring that PowerPoint video into this program and then I would add music voiceover sound effects things like that so with that one of the money going down the drain uh, this is what we have but now how much worse will a problem become with every passing day that you don't take action to drop debt? Here's a simple. So really just adding those little swish sounds that make it go down the drain and you could hear the voice over there as well. Um, great resource for getting sounds is freesound.org uh, and uh, it's unbelievable what they have here. It's just all these free sounds you do have to register but uh, there's no cost or anything and uh, you just um, you know type in your sound you know whatever it might be um, they have just about everything here and uh, you get all these uh, free sounds you just click on here to, to listen um, and uh, generally the sound that you're going to want to get is a is a wave file WAV that's an uncompressed uh, high quality uh, piece of sound mp3 is a compressed uh, sound which still some of them are going to be F mp3s but their um, the quality is lower if you notice if you don't notice well whatever it's fine 
but generally if you have a choice then you want that wave file AI AIF is fine it'll depend on your editing software some of them um, you will be able to import others you won't um, but great resource there's even little bits of music stings and things like that little musical tracks here and things like that too not full full music pieces but uh, um, still so lots of little things that you can use for accents but sounds of everything in there so that's great free re resource freesound.org so one more quick little uh, look at PowerPoint and some of the cool things that you can do is uh, something like this, which is a nice, um, what do we call it, a montage, I guess. Uh, I'll just play this for you. You can see for yourself. This one is uh, selling a smartphone app. And uh, so I just took these still images from uh, Stock Photo Library. Uh, and then treated them and by that I mean you know you take an image like this and uh, I put um, so you go to design format and I go to uh, picture effects and I go to soft edges and I put a 50 point soft edge on it and then I go to corrections and I choose something here just to kind of like heighten the kind of image, kind of do something crazy with the colors. And you might say, well, why do I want to do that? Why don't I just leave the picture it is? You can, um, but when you do something a little bit different and PowerPoint has all these options to kind of distort or change the image, uh, make it, you know, uh, change the color, the, the resolution, the graininess and things like that, is that you give your video or give your uh, animation a kind of a, a look to it. And um, if it looks a bit different, um, people tend to notice differences. And so if you just show the image as it really is, the way it was taken, well, okay, maybe they'll their, their interest will be what it is. But when you start to change it, uh, put these soft edges on it, put animation to it, change the color, all these things, um, then you're getting into something that looks a little more cool. And I'm just, to get them to that size, I just crop them, and then I'm using animation to reveal them, which is the wipe animation. So, so we can see over here in the window what the animations are. Um, each, uh, each one has a, a wipe on and then a fade out. And uh, so you can see that it's showing me multiple animations for each one, but um, uh, the one that you would be choosing is this wipe. And you would wipe it from left to right or right to left or up or down. And then you would add an animation here. And the animation that you would be adding is the fade out. Uh, so again, same, same kind of thing. You would uh, show it in the window like this. And... Uh, It's going to look a little chunky here because of the resolution I'm shooting at. Uh, and you put something like that to music and um, and voiceover, you you really get people's attention on your on your stuff. So that's it. Um, as you know, or as you may know, you can get Speedy Web videos. It's just thirty-seven dollars. Uh, there's about twenty videos in there, probably more. Um, they're all only about ten minutes long, so it's a very short, quick efficient process for producing these kinds of videos that have uh, uh, text effects, uh, flying graphics, music, uh, putting in sound effects, uh, the whole process, how to shoot the screen capture, um, how to uh, you know get a small file size but very high quality, uh, everything you need in there A to Z. So enjoy and have yourself a great day. Yeah.